Hey guys, today I'll show you how to set up AltaHost VPS so that you can start self-hosting web applications like email servers, WordPress, or your um, VPN. And AltaHost is a cheap VPS provider. Let's start. Uh, go to AltaHost. Um, link on the description down below. So go to hosting and go to VPS hosting. And scroll down and choose your preferred term. You can get up to 50% off for a three years term okay I'll just choose monthly for now and we will choose a powerful uh, VPS with four gigabytes of RAM and I'll just click order okay so our uh, billing cycle uh, is monthly you can choose up to uh, three years and I'll choose Los Angeles for our server location and I'll choose Ubuntu 24.04 LCS the latest one for control panel you can choose Estella or cyber panel uh, so they are free if you don't want to install Estella CP manually you can just choose say control panel for automatic um, installation and I don't need another addition for um, disk space Okay, I'll just choose this to none and I don't need another IPv4. Okay, I will not uh, use script for now because I will uh, test this using benchmark and YEBS. So for the type of service is new installation and I don't need another SSL. So that's it. Just click continue. Okay, just uh, create a new account or if you are an existing customer you can just log in so create an account okay once you are done filling up your personal information you can choose to pay your uh, VPS using this available payment method I will be choosing PayPal I'll just uh, proceed to checkout so just proceed to your payment so continue to PayPal. I'll be paying this one. Okay, so I have paid my invoice and let's go to dashboard and let's scroll down and just click manage and scroll down. Let's see. So our VPS is ready and our IP address is here so let's check this for any block list let's go to MX toolbox okay just paste our IP address here and just click a block list to check okay great our IP looks clean so we will just ignore this you see protect TL3 because there are a lot of hosting providers complain about this checker or filter so a lot of companies complain about this one because they want some payments in order to uh, remove your IP address in their database so just ignore if you have faced this one so just ignore this one okay let's go back to our Altos dashboard and let's log in so our SSH client and test our uh, server. Okay, let's run Bitwise. Let's copy this one first. Okay, paste your IP address on host. Use port 22 and your username is root. And you go to server information and copy this password. Okay, just click login. Click accept and save. Paste your password here and click OK and go to Terminal Console. Okay, I will be installing uh, Geekbench 6 and I'll show you the results. Okay, I have uh, installed Geekbench 6 and I will wait for uh, the results. Okay, so Geekbench has finished. Um, testing our server so I'll just copy this URL here okay, paste it in our browser let's see okay we have 156 single core score and our multi-core score is 2381 okay uh, also host with 4 gigabyte of RAM and 3 
virtual core CPUs is much better than Contabo. Uh, for a single core score, Contabo has only 500 or 500 plus, and Contabo has only 600 plus single core score and 1900 plus for multi core score. So that's it. This is how you will set up your VPS on AltaHost, and you can now um, install your favorite um, web applications like WordPress or your favorite um, control panel like Estea, CP, um, Cloud Panel, or Cyber Panel. So AltaHost is better than Contabo with 6GB of RAM. If you have any questions, just comment them down on the comments section down below. If this video helped you in any way, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next video.